Hi guys, now in this video I'm talking to you about kiteboarding with music and Snugs earphones. In fact, listening to music, doing anything, wakeboarding, skateboarding, going to the gym, I've found a setup that works for everything. Now everyone loves listening to music and I really love listening to music doing sport. It amps me up and gets me into a state of flow. Now I tried loads of different MP3 players, from cheap ones to expensive ones, and found the best ones were these two off Amazon and eBay. You can get them for 15 quid, 20 bucks, and I buy a couple of them at a time and use them until they break. Sometimes they last a couple of months, sometimes a year. You never really know. But for that price, it doesn't really matter. You can stick a load of MP3s on and just stick it on for each session. It's a really good way to get a taste of if you like writing with music. So this is how I make a necklace to put my MP3 player around. It just so happens that the spare flagging line bungee that comes in a slingshot kite is the perfect length for a necklace. It's got a little bit of bungee in it, you can stick it around your neck and it doesn't strangle you, it's perfect. Both ends have a loop on, you just loop them together, make a lark's head as you would with your kite lines, like so, and then loop them to the end of this cord here. And that just goes over my neck like that, job done, and I stick it down the front of my wetsuit. Now these come with these free earphones. They're not that great, they don't really stay in, and you can't hear much with the music, but they're not bad. They do give you a taste of what riding with music is about. Now, these earphones kept falling out my ear, and it was really annoying. It was more hassle than it was worth. I tried loads of different types online, just buying different swimming earphones, waterproof earphones, and it was the same with all of them. They'd fall out, and I could barely hear them while I was in the water, because when it's really windy and you're getting pulled through the water, you know, you're either going to lose them, or you can't hear a thing. Now, look at this for comparison. This is the cheap set, but it still has some support. It goes around your ear like so, sticks in your ear, you get one little pull, one little crash, that's gone, yeah? Now, compare it to my Snugs. This baby, stick that in your ear, pops in there, it's a bit of a tight fit, like, and then now, that is not going anywhere. Now, I came across Snugs earphones, trying to find a solution to my problem. Now, Snugs are custom molded to your ears, so they don't fall out, and they isolate the sound. These little things were a game changer, like, even in 50 knots of wind, they still sound amazing. Each one is individually molded to your ear, so they never fall out. You're looking at about 199 quid for a pair of Snugs Aqua, and they throw in a couple of earphones as well. Now, it might sound like a lot, but it's well worth the money if you really want to kite ball the music. You, you get what you pay for in life. Like, I think these are the same quality as my old Bose sound cancelling earphones, and they don't fall off, so well worth the money. I'll also put a link in the description below where you can find yourself one of these MP3 players and get yourself a pair of Snugs earphones. I'd recommend starting out just listening to one earphone. It enables you to hear what's going on around you and listen to music at the same time. And it's quite nice to listen to the wind and the waves and listen to music. It's the best of both worlds. I quite often do it. But then occasionally if I'm out by myself, I'll have both in for the full experience. The 